We're going to get a quick check of the markets now before we turn to a break. Uh, Tom Petrovsky joins us live from Comsec. Uh, how are the markets looking today, Tom? Well, Pete, I suppose that's the thing that stands out about the markets is not withstanding uh, some of the grave headlines that still remain in relation to what's going on uh, in Israel. The markets are quite uh, stoic about what's going on and we're seeing a consolidation where stocks are concerned. We saw modest gains. Uh, we've still got minutes to go as far as the US session is concerned. It's about to close, but we've got an improvement of around 0.2 of a percent as far as the S&P 500 is concerned. The Nasdaq is up by around 0.6 of a percent. There were some important outcomes last night in relation to economic news. Producer in Inflation for the last month uh, was released. It was a little bit hotter than what the market had anticipated in September, up by a half of 1% compared to a gain of a third of a percent, which was what the market was hoping for. The main gain yet to come in the following session with the release of the consumer price index. But at the same time, we had the US Federal Reserve release the minutes from its last policy setting meeting. And what is uh, quite evident, Pete, is that there's been a, a nuanced change in the Fed's language in relation to where we are on interest rates. The conversation conversation about whether or not the central bank has done enough when it comes to raising rates is more pronounced and that's reassuring the markets and that's played into part of the reason why the market firmed up a little bit today. European markets were a little more mixed by comparison. The German market up by a quarter of a percent, French market down 0.4 of a percent. The futures are pointing to a flat start for the local share market just in positive territory. The Aussie dollar fairly stable at around 64 US cents. I know we're out of time but uh, what stands out last night is that we actually saw a fall and the price of oil down by as much as 3%. And that's probably okay. uh, not what you would expect under the circumstances. Sure. Okay. Well, hopefully that eventually leads to the Bowser. Tom, thank you.